Welcome back to Bonanza Disc Golf. We have not done a mystery box video in so long, so we're finally gonna be able to do one thanks to David, a subscriber who sent me out some discs. Also gonna be playing with a buddy Zeke who I played a triple challenge with. I think David actually sent, okay, we got a mini for the round, and it looks like there are instructions. Why are you trying to tell me what to do on my own channel, buddy? Okay, uh, if you don't par or better, I have to sign up for attorney and only use putters. Not doing that, but I will play a league with only putters and film that. So if I don't do par better, I have to do that. We're playing the longs here, which is relatively long. Really good course here in Northwest Arkansas called Creekside. I played the shorts earlier. Said it's a rubber blend Luna. It's a little puddle top. This is the first disc, 173, 174. So big wide open field, hoping we can rip at least 300, maybe close to 350 because it's kind of downhill. But this is this is going to be a pump. He was kind of nice. He gave a cheat sheet. So this is like 3303 three are the numbers. He told me it flies more like a 33 negative one two. Got some stability, Luna. Oh, you wanna be left. It's a rip, but you don't wanna be that side. So the basket is up through this gap and then to the right. So I would forehand, but I've, my forehand's been really, really off axis y lately. So I'm just gonna try to put a backhand into the middle of this gap, maybe get through it, but I mean, we're not getting up and down for birdie, so. Uh oh. Oh no. All right, basket is like right up there. I'm pretty sure. I says, please don't be it. Please like have gotten, give me some sort of silly look. Oh, that's short. There is like some sort of little backhand roller. Hey, not a bad kick, we got a putt. Yeah, you can have a highlight putt unless you shank it a couple times. A little easy. Headwind too, nice. Finish. Oh. Not the end of the world with the Luna, but just that second shot really needed to have a little bit better placement. If you don't know how these mystery boxes work, I call them boxes and birdies. I only can use the disc that I've already pulled and I have to use whatever I pull out of the box that time for the drive. I do that for however many holes there are discs and then I get to throw whatever I want and try to beat a number. That also is gonna be chosen randomly between one and five and I, that's the amount that I have to shoot under par. The second disc that we're gonna have, uh, and like a 300 foot hole I think. What's this, a zone? Yeah. This craft zone kind of feels like a titanium one. Forehand off the tee is what we're saying here. And it says it flies like a 4303. And I don't like forehand off the tee. 297, straight between those trees down there, maybe like 50 or 60 feet past. So gonna have to flex it. And my forehand, especially with like slower discs, has been terrible. So <clears throat> yeah, get out of it. Huh. Might be a putt, but oh, not a lot of skip. But that's, a, that's an easy putt. I feel like this might just be like a disc craft box. Let's take a quick look at what the next one's gonna be. It says, I have to do a Calvin basketball putt. What do, you, what do you give me? I need to park it actually then. Ooh, pretty money. Broderick would be really stoked. Max weight, Tim Barham, Buzz SS. A little bit of dome. Someone called this the better Buzz. I'm not the biggest Buzz fan, but this feels very comfortable and we will have some tight tunnels. So this is gonna be perfect for today. I'm so stoked on this. I think we're just like going up in speed. So maybe the next we'll get a fairway and a driver. All right, hole three, 379 on a hyzer. Not ideal for a buzz SS, but we'll try to rip one high. Oh, flip more. Wow, I really thought that that would flip around that tree. This buzz SS is, feels like it's gonna be really money because it seems pretty stable for a buzz SS. Ooh, right through the middle of the chains. That only caught because I threw it low enough. That went straight through all of them. All right, we got like a super long 607 foot tunnel part four. This is a great little shot. Like, I want to read what it's, actually I should see what disc it is first. Be good, be good, be good. Oh, maybe not the mid you want, a Malta. <laughs> Very overstable, which I've been liking releasing on Anheuser and this actually kind of shapes for it. So, <laughs> ace run. <laughs> oh, it's not the middle. Yes, it is. <laughs> Yes, it is. All right, we still got like 450 in, and we don't have any like driver-ish yet, so we'll just go buzz us ass. Nice. Gotta get one, because I think we're one over right now from that first hole. Ooh, oh, have a driver. Hopefully it can be useful. Ooh, what is this? Sir, Scorch. Alexis Mondohanu Tour Series Scorch from 2022. 
Feels very flippy. I think it's an 11 speed if I remember correctly. Max weight, I'm excited to throw this. I really hope it's on a, something that I should be throwing it on. It just says congrats. Nice. All right, actually another kind of good hole. Feels very domey, which is nice because it probably won't move off the line. 388 straight down there. Kind of really perfect for an 11 speed. I'm guessing a little hyzer flip. It doesn't seem crazy understable, but it does seem a little understable. Gosh, man, stop throwing it into the woods. Stay in the air, throw it in the air, it's so short. Jeez. Oh, that's not that flippy. I'm gonna go two over. I really hope it gives me one down. All right, hole six is like 311 foot, slightly downhill. I actually see the disc. Oh, no, it's <laughs> a cloud breaker too. This is a putter hole, maybe a mid-range hole. Cool disc though, cloud breaker too. No more forehands. I'm kind of okay with that. My forehand's been trash recently, so. Get it in the air. Whew. Oh, wait, th man, this, I need a forehand here. Dang it. <laughs> okay, flip up backhand, it's gonna be a Luna. Forehand would be nice, for sure now. Now I know that this is mostly for my scrambling. No. Ah. Oh, there's a dog down there. Sample. One more that I don't get to choose, and then we get to erase all these strokes that have happened because of unideal shots. The last disc is this craft. Nate Doss Nuke. Nice. Very fast. Oh, nothing. Maybe that should have been the, maybe the, there's no more forehands after this hole, but who knows? TI Nuke, three, five, negative one, two are his numbers. We'll throw the Nuke on the next one, but there's no more forehands, and I think it's a forehand hole. We'll soon know how many I need to be down between one and five. I really hope it's one. TJ told me to go through the slats, but I already tried that in another video. Didn't work well, and it's not gonna work with the nuke. Headwind, should be relatively stable. That should work. We'll give it one try through the slats, and if we ace it, everyone watching this video owes me $100. All right, we got 423 foot par three out of bounds beyond it. Can't throw four hands, and I couldn't even reach it really. So I think we're gonna try this scorch. I put it in the air, touch an Anheuser really left, see if we can drift it. Hold that. Go. That's it. Let's look. Things got. Thing's got a little stability in it. I was really surprised that faded so much. Dang, really great distance, just. Oh. All right, hole nine, 203 feet. Kind of down the hill, you can't really see it, but it's like right there. Just throw a slight hyzer with a neutral disc. So we're throwing Luna. Oh, no, yep. There's a little baby overhand gap, very small. It's not a forehand, it's an overhand. Let's go. Let's be good from circle two again. This might be inside actually. It's kind of right on the edge. That's a really good save. Let's go. Oh man, there's like, I'll show you, I'll show you the little baby gap. It's like right through there. That's all I had. All right, now is the big question. You see, pick a number between one and five. Oh no, five. Oh no. <laughs> no, thank you. No, thank you, Siri. Can I, can I redraw, please? Too early. Get through. Oh, just not left enough. All right, 270-ish. Dead straight. Buzz SS. It's kind of a stable buzz SS. Like a nice stable one. All right, big buzz assess turnover, 362. It's not over, I could be a Malta, but I think this thing has the glide to get there. Just put it up in the sky, nose down on some Anheuser. It's like way to the right. Just hopefully don't get snuck in the woods. Oh, keep going. 
it's gonna be short and inside the left side. I threw it, this is a little nose up, but alrighty. Just a little two nose up here, and we have no forehand, so this is great. I don't really feel like I can putt this. It's a little too far. That sucks, man. I wouldn't be able to throw a forehand here. Kinda gotta throw it in. We'll go Luna again. Drop in. Oh, so deep. <laughs> oh, so much wind and I accounted for it, but not enough. All right, so four hands are gone, unfortunately. 212 feet up through here and up a hill. So you really want to throw the forehand, but try to turn over this Luna. Yeah, that should work. That's great. All right, where are we going? Where did we finish? Oh, it's way back there. That's so confusing. I felt like I threw it under that branch towards, did it like roll? Yeah, it definitely came in on a lot of Anheuser, but. Oh, get it in the air. Don't be afraid of the headwind, buddy. All right, we got five holes left and three birdies to get. These are some fun distance. We're gonna have a right to left wind on a big par four, which is kind of helpful. I think we might try this nuke. Seems to be pretty flippy. Both TI nukes that I've thrown are kind of flippy. I have a hyzer. All right, we got a spike hyzer in here. I think we're gonna go with the Malta, kind of up and over everything. It's like way back and a little left. Are we putting? Since I'm the TD and it's not surrounded by water, I'm putting it. Maybe you should tell the creek to rise more next time. Where did we finish? Straight through here. Oh, wow, back on the path. Nice little headwind, any bid? Let's go. That would have been devastating to take another bogey. All right, 187, just kind of over this, turning right. Hopefully it's not like that other like 200 foot Luna shot that we just threw into a tree. Hopefully we just ace this one and be really happy. Flip Luna. It's not gonna. Kick. Let's look. Yeah, I'm definitely like the next like two months, my goal is just to play basically only in the woods. Cause like, I haven't done that for months in Denver. And so here, it's just more fun too. It's more frustrating, but also more fun. You park it a lot less, but when you do, it's much more satisfying. Yeah. All right, hole 16, 267 out there. Grab another birdie. I think I'm gonna go buzz assess. Okay. Just hit and sit. Hit and sit. Okay, 60 footer, love it, but it's open. This is how I know I've practiced putting because when my putting is significantly better than my throwing when I'm tired, that's like, that's how I know I've been practicing putting a little bit. It's like when your body breaks down, what have you been practicing? That's what you're going to be good at. All right, this is very much a forehand, but David told me I couldn't throw those. So hard, flat through the gap. The problem is it's slightly uphill. You don't need to get right. You just need to get straight. You just need to get straight? Okay. Baits you to throw just that slight bit of nose up that'll help it to fade out early. Get lucky. Yeah, baby. Oh my gosh, the luckiest player alive. That was awesome. This is a long putt. Whoa, so nose down, dude. Put it in the air. Oh, that's nose down too. So that might be that range that I need to start jump putting it instead of step putting it. But I haven't practiced the jump putt enough to know like where that range starts and the step putt range stops. No hobbit putt. Sneaky. Last hole, 517. Up and to the left. There's tee pad up there. It's like 360 from there. I don't know if I have a disc for that shot, but I have that shot. I made it in practice. Um, but yeah, just put it with the zone in the middle of that little fairway slot. Gotta miss right if anything, because I don't have a forehand or I'm not allowed to have a forehand. So just be simple with the zone. Oh, that's so not right. Probably not the best to throw that zone for like the first time off the tee of 18, or the third time. <laughs> ah! I got a backhand roller maybe. I threw this one so bad, I still kind of have a look. How's I have, oh wait, no, that's not me. Yeah, I could definitely get out, but I want to get the bird. Yeah, I have to like jump putt out and throw it in. Oh my gosh, that's such a big thorn. All right, this might just be the most electric thing I do in a YouTube video. 
because we're gonna throw this in from about 300 feet. Oh no, skip, big skip, big skip. Oh no, skip. Well, sometimes these challenges go well, sometimes it's today. Doesn't mean you can't end on a banger putt. We will jump this one. Oh man. 100% circle one for today. Oh, get it in the air. That's solid. Definitely the Luna. 